Hello, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. So today is Friday. Thank goodness that it's time for another Friday Reads. So yeah, let me just get right into it. So the first book that I want to show you, I'm actually finishing tonight because I'm doing a buddy read with a bunch of lovely booktubers and we really are going to be finishing it tonight. We only have, um, we have two more sections, but they're both short, so I'm going to finish it tonight. And it's The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. So this book is so good. It reminds me a lot of Brandon Sanderson. And yeah, there's just so much going on in this book. And I think I'll do a review once I'm done. But yeah, um... So as I said last week, you know, this is a fantasy, a high fantasy book. It follows several main characters, but the main character, I guess the, the main one is Davian. Um, Davian is what's called an auger. In this world, there are different types of magic systems. An auger is a person who can sort of um, have visions of the future. They can... They have different powers based on what they can draw from everything living around them. Um, they can tell when someone's lying, you know, <laughs> they have different powers. And Davian is the last auger left, or so it seems, at the beginning of the book. Then there are other individuals who are called gifted, and they have different abilities as well. And... They're also considered second-class citizens because people sort of fear them, but they need them at the same time. Um, and, you know, all of their fates become intertwined. You know, Davian, there's, you know, several characters that sort of travel with him as the book goes on. So I really love this. I think it's going to end on a huge cliffhanger, and I cannot wait to start the second book soon after finishing this one. The next book that I want to continue on with this weekend is The Witches by Stacey Schiff. Um, this book, you know, you probably can tell that this is about the Salem Witch Trials. I know a few of you said in the comments that it was on your radar. I am enjoying this book. It is much slower than I anticipated, and it is very dry. I was actually quite surprised how dry it was. Um, sort of like reading a history textbook, <laughs> um, because it's so highly acclaimed and it was a bestseller and, you know, it was talked about almost everywhere it seemed when it first came out. So I am surprised at how dry it is, but I have learned a couple of things that I didn't know previously. You know, I've read a few other books about the Salem Witch Trials, so I'm pretty well versed in the subject, but I'm still, I still love to read new things about it. Um, and I actually did learn a couple of new things. You know, for example, as horrible as it seems, the youngest victim that was hanged as a witch was only five years old. She was the daughter of another accused witch. And yeah, five years old. Um, she was throwing tantrums because her mother was taken from her. And they accused her of being a witch as well. And they hung her. So... I did not know that. I just knew about the women and yeah, this that was heartbreaking. Um, but this sort of goes really into detail on the trials and everything. Um, I'm about halfway through now and I have another 200 pages to go. I'm on page 202. Um, and there are some pictures as well, um, different drawings and paintings and what have you from the time period. So, yeah. And there are different pictures throughout. Those aren't the only pictures. There are every about every, about every hundred pages. There are uh, several pictures that you can look through, which I do find quite interesting. So yeah, I'm not sure what I think about this book yet. You know, I, I did read quite a bit during the week. You know, 200 pages for nonfiction is pretty good, I think. But it is very dry. I just am surprised at how dry it is. And I think that I probably wouldn't recommend this for someone that isn't like super interested in this subject. The next book that I plan on starting this weekend, and I have to finish it by the end of October. So I'm 
probably have to finish it during the week. And that is The Ice Princess by Camilla Lackberg. This is the Read Around, Read Around the World book club pick for um, October. And the uh, country this month is Sweden. So this is a Swedish author translated. And I've said it before, but it's hosted by Melanie over at Mel's Bookland Adventures. And I will link her channel down below. She's one of the booktubers on Buddy Reading the Shadow of What Was Lost With. And yeah, all I know is this is a suspense novel. It's a thriller, um, which fits in October perfectly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it says, in this, electri in this electrifying tale of suspense, from an international crime writing sensation, a grisly death exposes the dark heart of a Scandinavian seaside village. So, yeah, you know, people have mixed feelings on this book. Some rate it very poorly. Some people really like it. So I'll see what I think once I finish this. And I do have to finish it by next Monday, um, the 30, um, oh no, the 31st is Tuesday, I think. Um, a week and a half. I have a week and a half to go <laughs> to read this. <laughs> so, yeah. The only other book that I for sure want to finish this week um, is Salem's Lot. I have it on ebook and I am about, and I just barely started. I'm only about 30 pages in maybe, um, or maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is a reread for me. Um, I just wasn't able to really get to it this past week. And I read it many, many years ago when I was a teenager. So, um, so yeah, I just know that it's, I remember bits and pieces of it. And it's a vampire story, you know, evil vampires, not, not, you know, romantic ones or anything like that. You know, these are pure evil and, um, and as most of his early novels, it takes place in Maine. So in, um, in a small town in Maine. So if you hear bells, that is my cat. Um, I'll maybe post a picture after this video of, uh, of them playing, but yeah. So that is all I have for you. That is my Friday reads. Those are all of the books that I will be reading this weekend. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I can't wait to see what you all are planning for this weekend. And I will speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.